In this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest and simplest way to import timesheets into QuickBooks. First, before we import it, I wanna create a timesheet uh, really fast here, and we're gonna use that as the example of exactly what we're trying to import. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick an employee. I'm gonna pick a couple of jobs here. At random, I'll just pick three jobs, and I'll pick uh, whichever service item I want to use. So let's say these are gonna be uh, two for labor, one for installation labor, then my payroll item, whatever it happens to be as well, the classes, and the hours. So I'm filling out the timesheet here because uh, importing of the timesheet is gonna be in lieu of doing this, of course. But what I want you to do is I want you to be able to visualize what the timesheet is gonna look like in QuickBooks so then when, we, when you look at the actual template that I use, it's a special template that I created and I sell for $15. And if you use the exact uh, template that I have, you, you will be successful at bringing the timesheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this one. And I'll create a second one for a different employee. I'll make this one a little bit easier just to simplify things. Okay, just so we can have enough information in our timesheet to cover uh, multiple employees. So that's kind of the idea. So we have uh, multiple employees covered in this timesheet. And let's say this one, one of them is available and one of them is not. Okay, so now that you have uh, both timesheets saved, and uh, again, this is, um, let me just show you on the screen. This one's gonna look like this. And this other one's gonna look like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete them and import them to then show you how that works. So edit, delete timesheet. Then I'll pick the other employee. Edit, delete timesheet. And just to make sure, I'm gonna go ahead and go into time by name, just so we can see that we have zero timesheets in the system. So let me show you what my template looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and open my template in Excel. So I click and drag the IIF file into Excel. And that would be the same thing you do if you're working off this template. I'm gonna go ahead and expand these cells here so you can see them. So you have, you have these columns already preset. Um, and this is something that I had already in an Excel file somewhere and I copy and pasted it into here in order for it to work. But it's really, really important that you follow this template exactly as it is. The only information that you will be modifying would be the dates of the time entries, the jobs that you were sending the timesheet entries to, the employees themselves, the items, the payroll items, the number of hours, the class, the note if you want to, and then right here where it says billing status. So you're gonna put a billing status of a one for the ones that need to be billable, zero for the ones that don't, and really that's it. So as long as you got this piece of information that I'm highlighting here, plus the billable status, so the billable status plus this piece of information, and you have it maybe in another spreadsheet, you can come in and copy and paste it into this template, and you should be able to import it. So you can actually pause the screen and you can recreate this template on your own. You actually don't have to buy it from me, but if you do, I'm gonna put a link below uh, to a place you can go, pay me 15 bucks and I'll email you this, uh, this template right here. So let me go ahead and close this. And then once I close it, I'm gonna save it as a text MS-DOS. I'm gonna call it uh, timesheet, click on save then you're gonna notice that the file gets created with a .txt, and this is gonna happen automatically when you um, save and edit it IIF, so all you have to do is just change the extension here from txt to IIF, and that would then allow you to uh, have an importable file into uh, QuickBooks. So I'm gonna go into the file menu, click on utilities, click on import, click on IIF, then I'll pick the timesheet that I had copy and paste the data into, click on open, click OK. 
Now I'm gonna go in the report and show you exactly how all the timesheet data came in. So that's it. That's really the simplest way to bring a timesheet into QuickBooks Desktop.